it's time for this week's pickup video. Uh, this week I went down to uh, two places actually. I went down to Florida, to St. Augustine, Florida. I also went over to Panama City, Florida. It's a very long trip. Didn't have a whole lot of time to stop at places to look like I normally do, but I did hit a few places on the way down and while I was running around down in those areas. So I got a few pickups. So we'll start off with, uh, picked up a pretty neat little puzzle game called Pokemon Puzzle Challenge. This is for the Game Boy. It's actually a pretty fun little puzzle game. It's a little difficult, but I'm getting the hang of it. Uh, I like these type of games. It's kind of like a Tetris kind of game a little bit. Uh, Tetris and Match 3 kind of thing. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. It's a cool game. Nice thing I picked up. I picked up Jumpman Jr. for my ColecoVision. This is a really fun game. I'm really enjoying this one. Uh, basically, you run around on these platforms. You try to collect these little, these little red uh, orbs with your guy without falling off a ladder or falling in a hole or having this random little dot that kind of shoots at you from off the screen. You see it coming across. Uh, very challenging game. A lot of fun. Kind of reminds me of Load Runner a little bit, except uh, you know you're not collecting gold. You collect these little orbs. Next thing I picked up for my Intellivision is I found a boxed Snafu game, which is basically Surround. Pretty fun game. It's not too bad on Intellivision. Uh, using one of those uh, Super Arcade controllers uh, from the Sears Video Arcade Intellivision uh, version. Works a whole lot better than the stock ones I've been using with my Intellivision too. So this is a good game to play with that. The next thing I found... So I found a real neat little handheld Space Invaders game. Little guy right here. Really awesome. Uh, it's got the little arcade graphics on it. Uh, it's an LCD game. It also has some really cool sound effects. It sounds like the sound effects from the arcade game. I'll, I'll be quiet so you can listen to it play a little bit. Awesome. Cool. All right, next thing I picked up, uh, I, didn't, I didn't pick this up when I was out and about. I ordered this off of eBay for one of my buddies, uh, Septic Lemon, who writes the Great Brit blog over in England. He wanted a copy of the MS-DOS version of Oregon Trail. Not Oregon Trail, Oregon Trail. <laughs> Don't know why he wants this old game, but I told him I'd pick it up for him because I found it easy in the States for real cheap. So I got to mail this over to him. No gameplay because I'm not installing that just to show gameplay. And the last thing I picked up is I picked up a Pac-Man World 2 and Pac-Man Versus. Pac-Man World 2, a lot of fun. Uh, I really like the game Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness on my Dreamcast. And this Pac-Man World 2 is a little bit like that, not exactly. So I kind of enjoy it playing it around. Uh, but the Pac-Man Versus... That's awesome. That's a lot of fun. You use a Game Boy Advance as one controller that controls the Pac-Man. And then you have up to three other players that can control each one of the ghosts running around in the maze after you. Uh, what you see here is just me playing a two-player game where I'm just using the Pac-Man just to run around in here. And then now I want to show you what it looks like on the Game Boy Advance. As you can see here, you can see the Pac-Man maze. On your Game Boy Advance, you can see where the ghosts are. If you look back there in the background, you can see what the other three players are seeing. All they can see is their ghost within a certain window. So they don't know exactly where you're at, so they can just run around the maze trying to find you. So it's, this is going to be a really neat game to get uh, multiple people playing at once. I'm going to try to get some people together and uh, do a video recording of uh, multiple people playing this game. Just for the heck of it. So that's all the pickups for this week. Thanks for watching.